what that spoke to me was, I don't care if you're going to be with other women, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that wasn't my green light. My issue was this. At that point, I had a beef with God. I gave my life to Christ in February, on February 4th, 2020. Matter of fact, some of y'all that follow my Twitter may have, may have seen me a couple of weeks ago talking about how I just hit my one-year mark. I gave my life to Christ, and my whole life fell apart. My marriage fell apart. At this point, I'm not seeing my kids. Um, you know, I'm helping people best I can, but that's not giving me fulfillment. I got money. I got this, that, and the other. And I really honestly just went to a place of, of effort. Just screw it. I don't care no more. I don't care about being a good man because look where it's got me. I don't care about serving God because look where it's got me. What's up, guys? I was here with another video. And I want to talk about this situation that has come up with this guy named uh, Derek Jackson. Now, you guys know, <laughs> sometimes I, I got to put these disclaimers out there because I don't want anybody thinking that I'm falling off the rails or uh, I'm trying to go into some other realm of, you know, you, you know, YouTube content besides Christian content. That's not what I'm trying to do. So had to put that out there before I continue with this video because there's a message and, and there's, I'll, I'll try to go somewhere with this video, right? Because you guys know that I do Christian content and I try to keep everything based on what scripture says. So I know by, I know, I know by a lot of you guys hearing me talk about uh, Derek Jackson, for some of you guys who may be, uh, you know, well aware of who that is and, and what he does, um, you know, this is, he's, he's kind of been in the social media gossip circles. Um, and, I, and I'm going to explain why in a minute, but it's something that he said concerning God and concerning Christ is the reason why I'm taking time to address him, not to address his situation. Now, for those who don't know, so I'm going to start the video off. Derek Jackson is a guy who, uh, he started to create a fan base or a market to be able to, I think he's some type of a life coach or a relationship coach or something like that. And majority of his consumers are women, single women, uh, pr primarily black women. Uh, broken women, things of that nature, right? And what he does is that he'll create content that is geared towards, I wouldn't say man bashing, but it's more like taking this low hanging fruit and kind of making it seem like that's the standard for men. Like, for instance, he did a video about uh, men who cheat, right? And he was saying things such as, you know, if you're a man and you've cheated on your wife, or if you're a man who cheats, then, you know, you're like um, a guy who is low in society and you don't have any morals and, you know, just just basically calling out men who, who cheat, right? You know, and, and rightfully so. Uh, there was another video that he did and to, to kind of let you know the type of content that he creates it's kind of like baiting uh, you know it's almost like baiting women into checking out his content because of certain situations that a lot of women go through right like for instance this this one video that he that that he did I think maybe it was about a year ago or a year and a half ago or something like that. And he was saying something to the effect that, that you're not a real man unless you date single moms. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's videos like that to where it's like, how do you get to that conclusion? How, how do you come to the conclusion that if a man does not date a single woman, he's not a real man? Like if you're a guy and you're a single guy, um, if you prefer to not date a single mom, 
you know, how, how are you not a real man? So it's content like that. And I'm just doing this to kind of give you guys a backstory to what type of content he creates or produces. So therefore, you don't have to watch, you know, five or 600 of his videos just to try to get the gist of what type of content that he puts out and why all of this is relevant to my video. All right, so that's the type of content that, that Derek Jackson puts out. And of course, he's built the fan base off of it. Primarily single women, broken women, women who have problems and relationships. Now, his content is never geared towards addressing the bad decisions that his fan base, these particular women that he's trying to target, is never geared towards the bad decisions that they make and how they can correct it. It's always diverting accountability to someone else. You know, the reason why you're having these issues is because men are no good. The reason why, you know, you can't really get a good man because a lot of men are not good and there's so few and far in there between that, um, you know, majority of men are bad and in order for you to find a good guy, um, you're basically just going to have to continue to be who you are and one day some good guy is just going to come and scoop you up. Right, and it's, it's almost like giving them a false sense of hope, not addressing the fact that if you're a woman, and the only guys that you seem to attract, or the scene, or the type of guys that you seem to date are low quality guys, because you're meeting guys at clubs and bars and um, guys off the internet who social media pages, is pictures with them holding the 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 big stack of money to their ear like a phone. Uh, rolling up weed and stuff like that he doesn't address things like that to say maybe that's probably the reason why you have these issues finding a good man or a man who really wants to marry you right or a woman who's going out and had kids by multiple different men doesn't do that anyway now to kind of get into the meat of this video right so Derek Jackson who has built this platform on appealing to these type of women of how to be a good husband and you know what a good man is supposed to look like right and Derek Jackson you know he, he's a handsome guy um, fit you know he's, he's not some 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 ugly guy I mean you know he's you know a, a good-looking guy you know not to say I'm checking the man out of all of the thinking that but he is a guy that a lot of women would consider handsome and fit, uh, nice looking, clean cut, all of that stuff. And he has put himself as the model of what a good man is supposed to be and how a good man is supposed to think, how they're supposed to look, carry themselves, etc. Now, he got married. I can't remember how long ago um, it was when he got married, but he has been caught cheating on his wife with most likely some of these uh, women, uh, pro probably fans of his, you know, women who have been, um, you know, maybe, maybe following him for years, uh, maybe women who who find this guy attractive and they've just been following us, maybe groupies or something like that. But anyway, he's been caught cheating on his wife and he has... You know, been exposed by one of these women saying that, hey, you know, I think she took a picture of herself or something inside of his bed, um, apparently while his wife wasn't there. And this is how all of this got exposed. And I think there's been uh, some more women that have come forward. So he kind of did this apology with him and his wife um, on social media. But this is the part that got me because I. I don't care about stuff like this. I, I just don't care about gossip, celebrity gossip, anything. I don't I don't care. There's a lot of stuff I can do a video on, don't care. This is what prompted me to do this particular video. All right, so Derek Jackson, I can't remember what interview it was because I just heard about it today. I just heard the interview today, but I know a couple of days ago, I know that I've been seeing people a couple of people post titles about Derek Jackson blaming God 
for um, the problems that he's been having with cheating on his wife. Like somehow he blamed God. So I didn't really watch a lot of those videos. I said, okay, you know, um, I, I just really didn't get into it. I'm like, it's just celebrity gossip, just trash. But I was actually listening to a video because I actually wanted to hear what, what was said. Derek Jackson alluded to the, to, he alluded to him saying that it wasn't until he became a Christian that these problems with women and lust didn't happen. So before he was a Christian, <laughs> he didn't have these issues. It wasn't until after he became a Christian that he felt like God abandoned him and that's why he's having these issues and that's what's leading to the problems in his marriage. Because it's something that God did that led him to do what he did and that's why he's going going through this. I, you know, point number one is that the reason why, th this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to do this video because I, because you know, sometimes people will take what a person says out of context or they'll, they'll say, well, you know, this person said this, or they'll take like a little short snippet of what someone says and then they'll turn it into a different narrative. But for some reason, I watched this video and I had to listen for myself to see what, what he was saying. So instead of Derek Jackson, who's supposed to be a Christian, by the way, taking account accountability for his own actions, he blames God as the reason of why his marriage, of why he cheated on his wife. I, How, how do you make that make sense? Because see, as a Christian... The Bible explicitly tells you how you're supposed to treat your wife. Point blank, period. The instructions are there, right? You're supposed to love your wife as yourself. Actually, you should love your wife greater than yourself. And if that's the case, then you wouldn't be out here cheating on your wife the way that the way that Derek Jackson was. But this is why I talk about people who go out here and they're supposed to be representing the faith. And one, and, and this particular video that I watched, uh, which was by secular, which is by secular folk, even they didn't buy that. They was just like, "Nah, you ain't gonna, you ain't, you ain't gonna blame God for this one." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't gonna blame Jesus for this. No, this is all on you. And a lot of people were appalled at, at that. So, which you know kind of, you know, it kind of lifted my spirits a little bit to say, well, dang, not, not even the pagan folk, uh, <laughs> not even the pagan folk uh, 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 believe what Derek Jackson was saying. They wouldn't even let him off the hook for that. But to kind of go back to the crux of the conversation, the Bible is clear on what marriage is, biblical marriage. And when people talk about, well, they think that God let them down or God failed them in, in this particular situation. Like, I didn't start having these problems until I became a Christian. Well, what does Jesus tell us in the Bible? He says that the world hates me, so naturally they're going to hate you. And he says that if you are of the world, the world will love you because you are one of its own. But since you are not in the world the world hates you because they hate me and he says since you are not in the world the world is going to hate you and he says that if they persecuted me they're going to persecute you and he says that the, no servant is greater than his master so if you're going to go through hardships and if jesus went through hardships you're definitely going to go through it do you really think that it's ironic that as a christian person living um, a Christian life reading the Bible doing exactly what it says and let's just for the sake of argument in the context of marriage you're a good Christian man good Christian husband you know you take care of your children you know um, 
great wife and you guys are just solid in the faith just heavy in the faith and you may go back to the times I'm going to use myself as an example I can go back to the times where um, when I was single it just seemed like that I really couldn't find uh, you know good quality women right I, I just it just doesn't seem like that that I can find a woman I, I didn't have women falling all over me or anything like that I still don't have them doing, like, doing that to me today but it seems like that now that I'm married and this year makes it 10 years for, for our marriage that I get a lot more attention from women even though it's really subtle I get a lot more attention from women now than what I used to when I was a single guy in my 20s you know what I'm saying and I don't know maybe it's because of how my attitude was or where my head was at but it seems like that, although I wear my ring all the time, you know, I never take it off, but it just seems like that I get a lot more attention from women than what I did when I was single. Um, and, and I believe that a lot of that has to do with certain temptations, certain temptations that the, bring, that the devil will bring about, you know? When a woman is being a little too flirtatious, I cut the conversation off. I just try to get away from that person as, as quick as possible. Stuff that I wouldn't do back in the day before I was married and before I was saved. But it just seems like that is more often than what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? And that's because as a Christian, I believe that some women who are not saved pick up on that and some women want what your wife has they want a good man that's going to take care of them a good man that's going to pay attention to them that is going to treat them with the utmost respect they want that but they don't understand how maybe how your wife gets that and they're not getting that how they can say Hey, you know, I got a great body. I work out all the time. I don't have any kids. And, you know, um, I got all these guys just fawning all over me on social media. But how come I can't go out and get a good husband? How come I can't go out and get a man who's going to treat me the way that this man is treating his wife? And sometimes women will try you as a man to see if they can divert your attention from your wife to them. Because they're so used to getting so much attention from other guys. So therefore, when they run into you and you're not giving them that attention, so now they have to keep ramping it up to see if they can break your concentration and make you focused on, focus on them like you do your wife. And some of them do that just for that. Because like when you look at the, the, the situation with Derek Jackson, this woman probably really didn't like him like that. She just wanted to see that can I get him or put him in a position where I where I want him to be? Can I control what's going on with him, his thoughts or his actions? That's why she was able to post those pictures to say, like, look where I'm at, you know? And she probably won't mess with Derek Jackson again. I, I, I'm pretty sure. She'll probably be like, yeah, okay. Been there, done that. I've already, I've already fulfilled my purpose, my goal. To see if I can make him step out of character. To step out on his wife. And sometimes that's just good enough for certain women. So that's why as a Christian man. You have to be aware of those things. That's why we have to keep our minds. Focused on the Bible. Focused on scripture. Because that is the only thing that's going to keep us. Focused on our wives. And our families. And not focus on all of these. Women out here. Who may just be looking to destroy your marriage. And with Derek Jackson running around telling, going out here live on social media or TV or wherever he was, blaming God? No, I'm going to tell you like this. There's no other um, religion, mindset, uh, 
guru, self-help guru, marriage guru. I don't, I, you know, anybody with a mindset that is different from the mind of Christ cannot possess what it's like. They cannot fathom what it's like to honor a woman, to really honor a woman the way that she needs to be honored and to be protected and to be respected. The Christian faith, the word of God, the Bible. I'm not talking, people can go, you can talk about Catholics and you're talking about all the divorce rate in the, in, in, in the Christian church. We ain't talking about none of that. We're going to talk about the word of God, scripture, when followed correctly. When followed the way that we're supposed to follow the faith. No other religion. No other mindset. There's no secular person that can teach you how to honor a woman more than the Christian faith. None. The Christian faith is the only faith that holds women to the highest standard. It does. And I'm willing to debate anybody on that. You bring, you bring to me another ideology that holds women to a higher, a higher regard in the Christian faith, we can discuss that. I'll definitely debate that. And we're I'm talking about with scripture. I'm not talking about with secular worldly statistics. Oh, you know, people who consider themselves to be Christian and did you know that the divorce rate is higher? No, we ain't talking about the church or nothing like that. We're talking about with scripture. Pound for pound. I'm going to crack that book open and we're going to read scripture. And I don't care what anybody else says that, oh, well, you know, it might be, you know, but I know a lot of people don't, don't, don't follow that. No. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? And the Bible will prevail hands down and it will be the only, uh, uh, it's the only framework that we have that holds women to the highest standard. Well, anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section below. You know, do you think that Derek Jackson was right for blaming God and saying that by him becoming a Christian, is that that's the reason why, that's when his marriage really started to fail? You know, do you agree that the Christian faith, once you become married and you become a Christian, that is just the downfall of your marriage? Or do you happen to believe that Derek Jackson was wrong, you know? Uh, what Derek Jackson did was the result of what happens when you deviate from God and his word and when you don't have a true understanding of his word. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Like this video, rate it, share it, comment, subscribe. And uh, once you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys can always, 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 always get notified whenever I go live or upload a new video. And you guys have a blessed day.